welcome back to my channel. Oh, it's morning. I can't think in the morning. Today we're going to be doing a morning routine. I'll explain more later, but the first thing that we always do is meditation. So, see ya. reading I always try to read between 25 and 50 what are you looking at I always try to read between 25 and 50 pages in the morning so today I read it I think about 40 but I'm back on continuous feeds because of a flare-up which I'll talk more about in a little bit but my bags end in the morning so I have to put up a whole new like bag and stuff in the morning instead of at night that's just how it worked out this time but I like to give myself like an hour or two break disconnected from it because being connected 24 hours is kind of exhausting but right now I'm just going to flush my tube it's always so hard to start. Okay, there we go. And then same for the G. Now I'm just gonna take off the extensions. Oh, water always comes shooting out. Okay, so I have these and then I'm gonna go rinse these out. I'm going to take this off because I need to replace it, but this kind of just helps keep the tubes in place when you're on continuous feeds, but I've been wearing it for a couple days, so it's losing its stickiness. And then I'm just going to try taking an alcohol swab and getting some of the sticky residue off. It doesn't work too well, but I try. Oh look, now it's all red. And now it's medication time. And now I'm just going to clean around the tube because it's feeling a little crusty. I'm going to go get dressed and then I'll be right back. A lot of things happened in the past week that I didn't vlog. It was just, it was a rough week. But this is what I'm wearing and my sweatpants. I wear this outfit like way too often, but it's easy. And one of those things included my cat, Asana, broke her femur. Like this is not even a joke. She shattered her femur head. We have no idea how she did that, but she did. And she just had surgery yesterday. So she's a little bit in rough shape and now we have to give her um, medication. She has to stay in the bathroom because she can't be like running and jumping and all of that. But we have to give her three medications. So I am doing that right now. Some of them are twice a day, some of them are once a day. But since it's the morning, we gotta do them all right now. Surgery was like $1,400 and then her vet visit to go like see what was wrong with her was also like 500 so. It's been great. And then on top of all the flare up and everything, it's just, it was, it was a rough, it was a rough week, but we're slowly recovering. Do I shake it? Yeah, shake. I don't know if I'm gonna film me giving her meds or me going in there, but if I do and you just like a warning, you can see her scar and the scar is pretty gnarly. So if you are sensitive to like incisions and stitches and stuff, maybe don't watch. <laughs> But I guess I'll let you know. Medication number two. And I hate giving these meds because I need to like hold them down to get the meds and I feel so bad. But I know, I know it needs to be done. And the third medication is a pill. She was on a pill before that she had the surgery because she had to wait like a couple days to get the surgery. And in the meantime, I had to give him a pill. And I was honestly really nervous to give her a pill because I'm like, oh my God, giving a cat a pill, how's that gonna work? It actually isn't too bad. You just take this little device here and you stick the pill in the top. And then you just like use this little lever and shoot it in their mouth. Let's go give her her medication. Asana. Hi. It's medication time, sweetie. I'm sorry. Oh no. Okay, yeah, this isn't working well today, so I'll be back when I get her meds. Okay, maybe she just didn't like the camera because she actually did really well when I turned it off. Here's the little baby. Oh, poor baby. I didn't, I won't show her scars, it's pretty nasty, but they have it shaved and like it's all on her hip, but. Hi. 
Okay, I'm gonna spend some time with her and then I'll move on to my next thing I do in the morning. This is a very like chaotic morning routine, but you know, that, that's just me. Honestly, things are never really the same and this video really didn't go how I was planning because I had a pretty solid morning routine. I was doing really well. Then I just got into the middle of a flare up and everything changed, but comic analysis, you have to adapt and that's what we're doing. But anyways, I just wanted to show you all the books that I got. You can't even see them all. So I've been as, I don't know. Oh my god, I can't talk. So I've been getting into reading again. I read the first two Harry Potter books, but that's all I had. I didn't have the other ones. Then um, my boyfriend went searching on eBay and we got... Wait, I think we're missing one. Hold on. Okay, yeah, we are missing one. It might still be in the mail, but I got four of them. So this one, this one, I'm missing five. And then this is six. It's seven. Oh my god, I didn't realize how big these books are. But I read the first two books. Then I have these to read. And then I also heard that these books were good. So I got these two books. And I have I also have more coming in the mail. But I am so excited because I've been getting really into reading again and I love it. Now I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and then we'll have a little chat. But I actually think I'm gonna make myself a matcha today because I got matcha again. Matcha time. So I start with a cup of ice and then I put milk and recently i discovered this milk which is just the simple almond milk that doesn't have any of the extra additive like ingredients i don't even know what it has in it it has like certain gums in it i have this one to finish up too like locust bean gum sunflower lectin gel and gum some other stuff that i don't know how to pronounce um but this is just kind of almonds water sea salt and natural flavors so i decided to try this one out and honestly this one tastes so much better it tastes so good i'm actually really surprised but Start with some milk. I add my matcha and I found this one at Costco. And then what I do is I find that works the best because I don't have a matcha whisk, I don't wanna buy one, is that I heat up some water and I put it in this little sauce cup and then I put the lid on and I just shake it and it works. Add a little matcha to here. So pretty. And then because I like things sweet, you know what, I might just add this to the base too. So it's like a vanilla matcha. And then because I like things sweet and fun, I'm just gonna put a, I guess what you call a cold foam on top. So I'm just gonna froth up some creamer and then put it on top. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, so cute. Straw, mix her up a little bit. Delicious, so good. This matcha is really good. It's very strong, so if you don't like matcha, this would not be the one for you. But the one I bought before on Amazon, it had such a very subtle matcha flavor, and I like the matcha flavor for some reason. I know some people say it tastes like grass. I don't know. I like it. Well, this one is stronger, and I love that. While I've set my matcha, we are going to have a little chat about what my flare-up looked like because I didn't film it. I wanted to film it, but I was honestly so wiped out that I could not. It came out of nowhere. One day I woke up and I was so nauseous, and I hooked myself up to drainage overnight because it helped when I was doing night feedings. It helped have that open i don't know for some reason my body just helped to have my g venting while i was feeding but not much came out because i wasn't eating and i was sleeping it was mostly just to let the air and the pressure flow out because that's an issue with my stomach is that somehow pressure and air builds up in my stomach so it always helped for me to tolerate the feeds better but not much ever came out but then one morning i woke up and i was so nauseous and i looked at my drainage bag and 700 ml came out overnight don't know where it came from like what happened but that was kind of concerning and then i wasn't feeling well after that usually after draining I feel fine, but I didn't feel well and then I took Zofran and I just could not get control of my nausea No matter if I was draining Zofran, nothing would get control of it And that was concerning me because I hadn't had an issue with that and then I gave my doctor a call And they said to it's kind of complicated because like my doctor is out right now So there's no doctor really covering my care, which is great But the medical assistant just told me to go into the ER and then I went to the ER and <laughs> we all know how like ERs are when they have chronic illness which it's like understandable and also not understandable at the same time because like we I know that ERs are to treat emergencies but I don't know I feel like the person I just got there was kind of a little bit extra dismissive <laughs> he first of all like didn't even he, did, he just didn't understand 
and a lot of things but whatever we're moving past that he was even confused he's like so you have gastroparesis why do you have a feeding tube i'm like i can't you can't eat it up that's why but whatever it's fine i just got a bag of fluids and some iv sofran and then was sent home which like i said is fine the next day was really rough too the next like couple days were really rough where i could not get control of my nausea i was not able to like eat or drink anything i could barely run my feeds my feeds were so low like i i i had no idea where this came from at all so over the weekend so it like started on thursday friday saturday sunday i think all of that was just pretty bad and then i've slowly started coming out of the nausea where it hits me now but i can mainly control it with zofran and draining which is good the one thing that i'm still really recovering from is the fatigue and the weakness from all of that and that's been really frustrating because i was finally finally starting to feel the energy again and now i am back to feeling like i can't do anything all i've been doing on the days now where i don't feel nauseous is sewing tubi pads because i'm working on my etsy shop and i sew like one or two and my arms feel so heavy and weak and i can't continue and then i literally can't do anything else because i'm so tired and weak and that's just been the most frustrating part so i'm still working on getting over that but the rest of the symptoms are a lot better but it was really 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 rough because i was finally starting to see progress and then i was just like knocked all the way back down at the beginning but we are working our way back up and i'm just happy because i'm starting to be able to eat more and eat more like solids again by solids i mean like the solids i was eating before like crackers i'm mostly just still sticking with liquids for now it was it was rough like i couldn't even pick up my arms Ugh, it was so bad and the nausea was so bad but i am just thankful that it seems i'm slowly starting to recover and i'm getting my feed rate up again and hopefully i'll be back to overnight feeds again soon because i don't like the 24 hours at all next up i have a flare-up i'll see if i see i always am like i should vlog this flare-up to show what it's really like but really it would just be a week straight of me laying in bed doing nothing but that's why i wanted to explain about it and then like in the midst of all that like i said my cat broke her femur so i was just like so many things are happening and i was just exhausted but we're getting better now so usually with my morning coffee matcha whatever i drink try to have a little bit of something with it because my digestion seems to be the best in the morning the more so throughout the day which kind of makes sense because like more food starts to sit in my stomach so it just doesn't work as well and it gets more distended throughout the day so it doesn't work as well at night so i always try to start in the morning usually around 10 is when i try to have my first food and today's choice is these little chickpea puffs delicious i love them so i'm gonna finish my matcha have some of these and i'll see you in a little bit it's like 10 50 now <sighs> see this is this is what happens i'm already tired I'm already beat for the day. I don't know why. I don't know where this comes from, but I can't talk. I don't know like where it comes from, like why I just get so tired from doing literally nothing, but everything is just too much right now. But we're gonna hook myself back up to feeds. So hopefully this will give me some nutrition. I'm just gonna say goodbye. Okay, I gotta go get my extensions. Here we go, gotta prime them. Let's attach. Two years today, another day to lie and then I'm gonna show you what I had on before. And I had this little grip lock, is what it's called. You take it, and I put it right about here. And this will stay on for a couple days. It helps a lot because it doesn't tug and pull on my tube, which causes pain for me. Okay, that's crooked. When I try to do it on camera, it gets crooked, but that's okay. Then you just open up, and there's another little thing. And you pull off, and then I just take it, and I like hold this in place and position it. So it's in there, same with this, there we go. So now they just stay in there and it doesn't get pulled on. I'm just gonna turn this on and prime it, which takes forever. The neon shades the Open and attach, unclamp. We are all set and I'm gonna try increasing a little bit so I can get back up to my goal right. And now since we are going about our day, I gotta put it in my backpack because it makes things easier. You just throw your pump in the bottom of the bag here and then you just hook the top. And there we go. And the last step, I have all this tubing and that will get caught on everything. So you just coil this up. You kind of let it follow its natural coil. It will help you with that. And then you have this little bunch right here. I am so bad at explaining things. And I take my clips, snap it, and then my well, shirt's a little cropped today, but you just clip it to there and you are good. And now I'm ready to go for the day. Sorry if you can hear noise. They're doing the lawn outside. Now I'm just going to start work and I'm just going to start by sewing 
some Tubi pads. I usually like to start whatever work I have as early as possible in the morning because like I said, that's when I have the most energy is in the morning. But the main thing that I try to remember when I'm recovering from a flare is just to take things slow. It's not a race. I'm a person that likes to get up in the morning as early as possible and get going. But lately I've been back to waking up at 8, 8 a.m. which is fine and getting a later start to the day because it's like 11 o'clock and I'm just starting to work now. If I think about it too much, I will get sad, but I gotta remember that it's okay and to take things at my own pace, especially when I'm still recovering. Listen to your body, don't overdo it. And it's gonna get started on sewing, okay. <laughs> It's almost 12 o'clock now, so it's not technically morning anymore. So I'm gonna end this video. I've been sewing and will continue to sew until I can no longer sew. So that's probably only gonna be like 30 more minutes because I'm like I said, I'm tired. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little different. I know it's a little bit shorter, but I wanted to do this for myself. So well, one, I can show you what my morning routine is like and two, so I can relax and rest as I recover from whatever this random little flare up was. It hit me hard, but use this as a reminder to give your body the rest it needs. Take it Low. remember to eat drink do your feeds take your meds all that i know it's hard but your body needs it give your body the love that it needs okay just lots of rest okay i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give this video a like and comment something down below and subscribe for new videos every saturday and i hope to see you in my next video bye Fashion.